Like I came from a like bike mechanic kind of background. So just working with a lot of physical items. My name is Marcus. Yes. And I'm a mechanical engineer. Yeah. I mean, and I've been at Teenage for about uh, four years or plus years, I would say now. Okay. Yes. Just working with mechanical engineering in general and uh, yeah, development of new products and yeah. ideas for yeah. Teenage. What is your favorite knob, fader, or switch on a piece of gear and why? Maybe a bit selfish to say, but we developed the encoder switch for the mixer that we made last year. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's actually quite special because it's like super thin. Yeah, yeah. And it contains about 15 parts. In, a, in, in one knob? Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. And with a hole sensor uh, and like magnet in the center. So that, that's the first thing that comes to my yeah. mind. Yeah, yeah. Because it's so unique and special. What bit of kit that you have designed are you particularly proud of? Yeah, I would say the mixer is, I mean, this microphone is, of course, yeah. very interesting yeah. of an, as a new product, yeah. but uh, I would say the mixer was probably a bit of more uh, engineering challenge yeah. due to all the items inside of this uh, yeah, yeah. product. How do you see the piece of gear that you guys have made in the landscape of music? It's something unique, I would say. Yeah. Thinking a bit outside of the box, mm. uh, especially in terms of size and yeah. portability. Yeah. Everything being battery powered and yeah. the, the portability and focus. Yeah to be able to use with any sort of gear here. What music has inspired you to make gear? <laughs> uh, personally, I listen to a lot of uh, progressive metal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Play a lot of guitar. Yeah. Sing my spare time and try to make as many songs as possible. Yeah. I mean, if I'm just scrolling through my list uh, on my phone, I have about, I make about 100 demos per year or something. So I have a bunch of them. 100 demos a year, that's a lot of demos. <laughs> I mean, that's like every three days you're making a new song. But I think it comes in waves a bit. Yeah. Like, but if you have a creative mind, you're like yeah. always either focusing on some sort of creative hobby or you're just focusing on it. Yeah. Like I'm solving things. I think my brain is just constantly running and then I just aim it towards yeah. some sort of direction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How did you get into music gear making? I've been playing as a guitar for a long time. Yeah. And I always had it as a side hobby to me. Mm -hmm. Like I came from a like, bike mechanic kind yeah. of background. So just working with a lot of physical items, yeah. repairing like bicycles, Such. items like that. Yeah, yeah. So it sort of came kind of continuation of this yeah. mechanical interest to yeah. just develop something music related. So it's like a combination of yeah. my past and yeah. my now engineering. I can see the bike aesthetic. Uh, the, something about the lines. How do you most often start a new piece of gear? I mean, where do the ideas come from? Uh, I mean, I think it actually can be from anywhere, yeah. <laughs> but um, I think I get my ideas when I'm in the shower. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just, or like when, even if it's like a piece of gear or, or a song idea yeah. or something non creative, yeah. I think everything just starts when you're really busy yeah. or like really have to go somewhere yeah. and just all of a sudden it pops up in your head. Most of the time completely unrelated to what you're doing at the moment. So. Okay. But how do you know when a piece of gear is finished? I'm a perfectionist, so to me, nothing is ever finished. Yeah. It's abandoned. Yeah, I just have to stop working again, I yeah. think, to be honest. Yeah. Stop working out. Yeah. When you start, okay. Yeah, like, I just have to leave it after a while because yeah. I will see that even though a product is released uh, yeah. and like out there, in my eyes, the product is never really finished. So you have to, come, if you come like 90% of the way, yeah. I think you have done like tremendous job. If I had the time and money, I guess I would. Yeah. Work for a really long time. Oh, you maybe never do anything, <laughs> or finish anything. That's also, you know. But you know, some musicians never finish their song. Exactly. So. Exactly. It's kind of the same thing. What is the best creative or production advice that you've ever heard? You really have to have patience and interest in what you're doing. Yeah. Like to really dive deep. I think. Yeah. It's a. That's my best. My best advice, yeah. I would say. Yeah. So you have have the patience and the energy to dive deep into the problems, like so actually solving the problems and taking shortcuts. Yeah. Yeah.